IOM News Channel 46 starts now with breaking news. City, the Monterey County District Attorney's Office releasing details tonight surrounding Monday night's officer-involved shooting. It happened on the 1200 block of Bluff Avenue. Tonight, the DA's office is sharing body cam footage that shows the suspect was clearly armed with a knife and charged at police. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for being here tonight for KON News at 6. I'm Veronica Macias. District Attorney Janine Paccioni wasted no time in releasing preliminary information surrounding the death of a King City man shot and killed by police officers. KION's Carl Cook reporting for us live tonight outside the King City Police Department with images captured by the officer's car and body cam. Carl, hard to imagine how things could have ended any other way after the release of these images. Yeah, Veronica, so the release of this video contradicts what the family had initially told us. The district attorney's office shows a frame by frame of the situation that resulted in the deadly use of force. Hey, Now, right before 7 on Monday night, King City police officers were called out for a stabbing. Brandon Vareo was accused of stabbing his brother multiple times. Officer Janelle Sanchez arrives within three minutes, according to the DA's office. She's met by Vareo, who stepped off the curb after she grabbed her medical bag. Officer Sanchez notices Vareo put his hands down and realizes he is about to charge her. Vareo is then seen with the knife raised as he is struck by gunfire. Vareo is said to have ignored commands and continued to chase the officer even after being struck four times. He then makes an obscene gesture towards Officer Sanchez. The DA says he then dropped the knife and fell backwards. Lastly, this is the weapon he allegedly used to stab his brother and charged at Officer Sanchez. Now, Vareo's brother was released from the hospital and the DA's office says that they are continuing to investigate. Reporting from King City, this is Carl Cook. KION News Channel 46. Thank you, Carl. And remember to keep up with this breaking news and developing stories that are impacting your communities here on the Central Coast. Remember, you could download our news app to your phone or tablet. Just go to the App Store and type in KION.